Mullen is the owner of Hot Cherry Signature Spaces, which is a vibrant and dynamic interior design company offering the full range of interior design and decor services. Tony has been in the interior design industry for about 20 years and to talk to us more about her successes as we celebrate amazing women in this month, she's here with us this morning. Tony, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Lebo. Thank you interior for having me. Interior designing. I mean, what is, does this business um, consist of? Oh, Goodness, where to start? Yeah. <laughs> it's all about color, yeah. taste, styles, trends, and fabrics. I'm mad about fabrics. Yeah. Um, kind of just trying to create a beautiful space and trying to do it differently every single time. When were you aware that you could do something different than the rest of us? That <laughs> I mean, we move couches around and do you know what I mean? You see something <laughs> that we don't see. When were you aware of this talent? I actually studied graphic design. Yeah. And about 15, 18, 20 years ago, I, I was approached by a client that I was doing a project for and mm. she suddenly came up with the idea that she needed me to do her house. And yeah. I sort of thought, well, I don't know anything about interior design. And she said, ridiculous she said you've created this now go and do my house yeah. so <laughs> I got into my car I was living in Nisen at the time yeah got into my car drove to Cape Town spent the weekend in Cape Town sourcing all kinds of furniture and f and fabrics and accessories from I can't even remember where and I just went from place to place based on people's recommendations and suggestions and the next thing I'd discovered a passion that I never knew For existed. Yes. So you're the guys that decide even what color this chair should be. <laughs> Is that the case? Yes. Like this fabric that we're sitting on. Yep. All right. So <laughs> 20 years in the business. Yes. What do you, um, your success to, what do you attribute your success to? Lebo, I don't know. I think it's a combination of just working with the right team mm -hmm. and being blessed with the most phenomenal clients. Yeah. Really, just experiences and opportunities that come out of nowhere. And making the best that All right. you possibly can of them. So here I am, Lebo. I want you to redecorate my house. Yes. What do I give you? Do I give you, a, do you walk into an empty space and you say, well, we'll do a red couch there, we'll do a... No, I prefer to walk into your home as you have it furnished now. Right. And you tell me what's working for you and what's not working for you. You tell me what kind of style of furnishings mm. you like, what kind of color palette you like, and then we create a scheme together. Gone are the days when interior designers had carte blanche to walk into someone's house and just do what they want. Yeah. I think with the advent of the internet, um, we're living in a global village, so people realize that they have access to a myriad of um, design styles, furniture styles, fabrics, and, and it's accessible from all parts of the world. Yeah. So people are very aware of their choices out there. So nowadays, it's a combination of working with your client and then giving them the input to, to sort of take their, their spaces to that next level. What are the trends at the moment? Trends, oh goodness, everybody's asking trends <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Apparently chocolate is the new charcoal. Right. Um, lapis lazuli. Chocolate which couches? Or chocolate, chocolate as walls? a colour. Cho chocolate as an accent colour on walls. Does um, it make it a dark? neutral base. You know, ironically, people believe that a lighter bedroom is a bigger bedroom or a lighter space is a bigger space. Mm -hmm. But I've proved time and time again that you can actually make a space look larger by painting the walls a darker colour than okay. a lighter colour. It takes it, it seems to shift the wall back somehow yeah. and not bring it forward so that it advances on you. It actually recedes and it makes your space look larger. A darker colour. Darker colour. I Believe am going to paint my bedroom <laughs> a darker colour. Okay, so tell us about the project that you've worked on. Um, I believe you're also part of Decorex, the yes, exhibition. I was approached Let's start with Decorex first. I was approached by Cyan Stain from Tabby Reed Exhibitions mm -hmm. to do the VIP section at Decorex, which is a wonderful opportunity to have a little bit of fun with an otherwise quite nasty looking area. Yeah. It's grey, grey and more grey. <laughs> yeah. So I had to steer away from neutrals and tone on tone yeah. and I decided to have a little bit of fun. I used a fabric that I had actually seen at Hertex, ironically called Jabulani, which is a wonderful word for rejoice and, and vibrance and all the rest of it. And it's a fusion of magentas and chartreuses and turquoises and this intense lapis blue. So I used that as my, my basis right. and I created the palette around that. We built an artificial wall of electric blue right. and I have Moroccan stenciling and um, a fusion of African, French and contemporary furniture and it's worked out beautifully. Is Apparently it? everybody's quite enjoying <laughs> the space. Yes. So what, when you're done, when were you, your first project, when you looked at it like, you know what, I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that was the project that I worked on in Nisner 20 yeah. years ago. When I managed to pull this house together, how I still don't know. 
I was actually amazed at the result and the client was over the moon. She was actually a South African living in America at the time mm. and she wanted a little bit of emphasis on her African roots. And we were both pretty happy with the result. All right, Tony, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for Thank joining us. Thank you for having Tony me. Tony Ann von Amelen is the owner of Hot Cherry Signature Services. Uh, check out the VIP area at Decorex. She created that space and she was with us this morning. Let's take an hour.